guys, welcome back to another episode of the Luxury Home Show. I'm Jazz, we've got Tom behind the camera, and today we're gonna to be taking you inside one of the most incredible homes that we've ever seen on the channel. We're in the historic coastal town of Lytham, which is within an hour's drive from Liverpool, Manchester, and the Lake District, and only five minutes away from a private airport. Now this unique modern architectural masterpiece behind me is worth over 10 million pounds. It's four bed, nine bath and WC, and it has over 12,600 square feet of interior space. And it's sat on a very private one acre plot. It truly is one of a kind here in the UK. An architect, Ben Druin, has spent the last three and a half years watching his blueprints and ideas come to life. He's designed this home to the highest of specifications and has made no compromises. So if you want a luxury home built to this incredible standard, we're gonna leave his details down in the description below for you guys to check out. And if you're fortunate enough to have over 10 million pounds and are interested in buying this one of kind home, drop us a direct email and we can make it happen. But we're gonna get started and show you the front of the property in a bit more detail. How incredible is this, Tom? Tons of room. Absolutely huge. So starting off where Tom is, we've got the electric sliding gate, which really makes this home feel super private. If we make our way this way, we've got two charging points for your electric cars, adding to that really eco-friendly feel this house has. You'll see more of that as we go inside. Down there, we have a double car garage. We've also got loads of room for another one. You could have like a glass box. Yeah, we spoke We spoke to Ben and he was saying it'd be a great addition to the property to have a glass box garage extension so that you could see your classic car from outside. Oh, that would just fit in with the house so well as well with all the glass. I like all the plants and the trees we've got outside, kind of contrast that really modern striking look it has. Yeah, great big fence around the edge of the plot as well front of the property is absolutely crazy. We've got this Constantino decked on cladding with the shadow joints. It's not your typical render or red brick. Absolutely it's just not. Spot yeah, on. One of a kind. <laughs> one of a kind. We've got the sky frame glass windows all around. And then if you come here, we actually have this incredible sky frame door. It's four meters high, the largest they've ever built. And put your hands up so we can see how big it is. <laughs> it's two jazzes tall. I look tiny. But yeah, we're gonna head on inside and take you in. We're in the property now. We're gonna take a second to pop a quick floor plan up so you guys can understand the layout as we make our way through the house. How insane is this? We've got huge ceiling heights, this Venetian plastering all over the house, which you're gonna see more of, and it is absolutely gorgeous. We've got the porcelain tiles on the floor, and you can see how symmetrical this is. But now we're coming into the open plan living area and I'm gonna show you this lounge area first. So it's sunken down and we've got a 100 inch TV. Shameless plug, go subscribe if you haven't already guys. <laughs> but yeah, just to put it in perspective, it's huge. We've got a gorgeous seating area here. Feels really cozy in this part, don't you think? Definitely. And then we've got three windows up the top here, which actually allows kind of a natural airflow into the property just to get that ventilation. We've got the feature Venetian plastering on the wall as well, and it looks gorgeous. And then we've got room here for a nice pool table with ambient lighting. I think it's personalized because it matches the kitchen too. And we're gonna show you that shortly. But I'm just gonna take you out here. I'm gonna pop my shoes on quickly. Wow, so those porcelain tiles carry on out through into this outdoor space. We've got shelter above me with two lounge spaces and then yeah we come out into this insane fire pit so it's sunken down you could easily fit about 20 people down here we have the fireplace that would come on here water feature all around and the most awesome part is that in these hedges you actually have speakers that go all the way around so party life here is it's pretty good yeah definitely <laughs> So if I come on back up, just get a bit of a look of how awesome the architecture really is in this home. But we're gonna head on through this way. The garden's really pristine as well. We've got nice lawn space. We've got that composite fence that kind of runs all the way around the property. So, you know, it's not easily worn down like wood would be. And we've got a lot of security systems such as a laser beam out here as well. So pretty high tech. Absolutely. But here we have the outdoor kitchen space. We've got two dining tables 
and we've got an awesome barbecue set up here as well. Like a whole right. outdoor kitchen, right? Well, that's pretty hefty. Yeah. Yeah, come on, I'll show you the actual kitchen. So I'm just gonna pop my shoes off and head in. It's worth noting that the sky frame doors actually run all along here. So they open up, they're electric as well. So what we have to do is push a little button and they open up. But anyway, here we have a nice dining table. We've got the double aspect, which really helps frame this big table in the middle. Once again, we've got the plastering above. And yeah, it's worth noting that the guy who actually designed this and did it actually went into Sheikh Mohammed's house and did all of his plastering, which is really cool. And he designed it all himself freehand, just straight from his brain. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Now, this is probably my favorite thing in this house, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Jazz is loving this. How awesome is this? So like the rest of the kitchen, it was bespokely fitted by Val Caccini. And I'm gonna show you my best part. The best part, I should say. <laughs> Your favorite. Yeah. Glass, fairly warm. We have a nitrogen oxide glass cooler. Feel that? Oh, that's freezing. Yeah. Nice. How cool is that? <laughs> We've got a champagne sink in here, normal sink. And yeah, it's just a great little addition, I think. We've got storage under here as well as a dishwasher, soft touch opening. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I'm gonna close it up again. <laughs> nice, yeah, touchless close. Anyway, so we're gonna come over here now into the kitchen. As you can probably see, we have two islands. We're gonna start at this one. So we have a breakfast bar here. You'll notice the rose gold. So we've got it on the Kuka taps, the breakfast bar. We've got these lips all along, which have it as well. And on the Gaganau appliances. So this is all personalized. I think it looks incredible, isn't it, Tom? Yeah, absolutely. We've got two wine coolers on this side. And I like the different textures in here. So here we've got the frosted glass countertops. This one here, the breakfast is a bit more metallic. And then we've got the more glossy units over here. We've got the fridge just here, which is actually a kind of, you just tap it and it opens up. Wow. And then tap it again and it closes like that. Gizmos. <laughs> yeah. Yep, and then we've got another wine cooler here, but there's so much storage in here. We've got the Bora venting hob as well, meaning all that is just sucked through there. There's no eyesore extract fan above. Let's and then, go and check that out, Yeah, because <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> so we have these four meter high bubble walls. Yeah. And they've got the lights in them. They look really cool at night time, don't they? Mm. And they also make such a satisfying sound. Just yeah. Go with you close with your mic. The bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> nice. But yeah, anyway, we're going to now switch over and Tom is going to take you guys to the pool. Gonna walk you through this, there's a lot to cover. Right next to Jazz, we have a changing room facility, shower and toilet, as well as some benches for changing. We've got this 25 meter long swimming pool. It's absolutely incredible. We've got the stretched ceiling above it. Actually had to be heated up. And then as it got colder, it sort of contracted and got really tight above. And yeah, it gives it that kind of illusion of a wobble, which looks really cool, right? Yeah. We've got these niches here with the ambient lighting, which looks Amazing, going all the way down. And we have these drains because the water level is completely flush with the side of the pool. So when you hop in and the water comes out into these drains, it's actually redistributed. So if your whole family was in the pool, it would sort of store the water until you got out, put it all back in again so you didn't have to keep refilling, which is very, very clever. And then we have a little plant room in here, a walk-in shower in this one. Then we've got this steam room in here. Now this steam room actually has a translucent ceiling, so yeah. semi-translucent, there's LEDs above it, shining the light through and it creates a really nice ambient ceiling. Yeah, we've got a glass window this side looking out into the garden and yeah, just loads and loads of seating with speakers in here as well. This would be my nighttime and morning routine if I lived here. Just come straight in, little workout in the pool, in the steam room. Okay, so now we're gonna head on round. We've got some more to show you, including this jacuzzi hot tub 
So the coolest thing about this hot tub is, it actually sort of starts at a lukewarm temperature, but when you press one of these buttons just here, it starts to heat up. So if you're doing some, some lengths in the pool, you can press that button before you finish, and by the time it's there, it's ready and it'll be super warm for you, but it sort of saves energy. You don't have to heat it all the time, and you don't need a cover, which is great. Now we're gonna walk along and go inside this gym space. So it's an incredibly well-equipped gym in here. We've got the rubber flooring, just like you'd expect in a gym. We've got the mirrored walls that side as well. Glass on two aspects, well, kind of three aspects of this room. So you've got a great view of the pool and also the garden. We've got the TV here sort of set into the wall, looking nice and seamless. And we've also got this sort of coffered ceiling above with the ambient lighting. It really matches that pool vibe with the blue lighting. Great thing to mention, actually, these doors here, they're electronic, but I'm just gonna push them so I can show you. So you can operate them manually too. But they're pocket doors and they actually slide all the way behind this wall where the TV is. So yeah, it creates a really seamless look. Double pocket doors they are, because yes. both the doors Go fit in. behind. Yeah, how cool is that? So seamless. You can open all of this out, get some air in while you're having a workout. But yeah, awesome gym. We've also got Tyson Fury trunks in there too. This is pretty cool, I know I'm a fan. Now we've got loads and loads of seating areas towards the back of the property. You're gonna kind of run through all of them. So yeah, loads of lounges here to sort of hit the evening sun. Yeah, and speaking of sun, we also have loads of solar panels on the roof yes. as well. Yes, we do. So it creates a lot of energy. You can actually charge your vehicles out the front from the energy used and stored, yeah, from the solar panels, yes. which is awesome. Worth noting that the property is fully self sufficient yes air source heat pumps a lot we've got underfloor heating throughout as well so it powers that we're going to head in through the principal suite though so we're going to head into this ensuite now the color palette in here i'm personally a massive fan of really dark moody bathroom got a standalone bath here and loads of incredible tiling now the tiling in here actually took about three and a half weeks for a team to finish because it was just so meticulously crafted you can notice that this grout line I'm pointing at up here, <laughs> is actually the same all the way around. So this wall drain set into the wall, this whole tile here was actually dropped down below the wall. And so the same amount of millimeters had to be cut off the bottom of all the other tiles to keep it all in line. So that, that grout line did match up. We've got this insane bubble wall <laughs> behind me. Jazz is like going mental with her eyes. Yeah, insane, just like in the other room, but how cool would it be, right? You're in a, having a shower and you've got this to just sort of look at. Very, very relaxing, I think, but yeah. Insane, really impressed. We're gonna head on through into the principal suite now. So slightly different color palette in here, but again with that Venetian plaster, we've got sort of more desert tones almost, like a sandy feel, which looks great. The double aspect windows that go all the way out into the garden, you can open those out and you can do the same with these blinds. You can imagine waking up in the morning, then opening up to that beautiful garden. Insane. This niche behind the bed too is another crazy detail. Handcrafted, hand cut massive niche section and it looks so seamless so well done we've got the coffered ceiling again with the ambient lighting this is such a nice mood throughout all the rooms even this circular mirror has the ambient lighting all the way around it incredible we've got aircon in here too uh, i'm gonna head down this corridor there's actually a skylight above bringing in loads of light through here too but now we're gonna go back through into the entrance hall and show you the other wing where some of the bedrooms are so we'll see you there okay yeah keep coming along I'm gonna go through this doorway. We haven't seen this bit yet. It's a whole separate wing. I get so excited in this house, it's crazy. <laughs> okay. So through here, first room, we've got like a utility space. It's like a different access point to the property as well. So if you wanted to kind of bring your shopping back through this way, rather than having to go in through the kitchen, that would be ideal. You can just open that door up. Yeah, it's another sky frame door as well with the frosted glass. Exactly, so it opens all the way up and this is where your double car garage is and also side access, loads and loads of parking there. Yeah, awesome. Hip height washing machines as well, really, really useful. This house looks incredible, but the thing that struck me as, struck me as being quite insane is, is how functional it is, you know? Now, I think it's worth showing you this. Normally, we might not show you things like this in the tours, but this is essentially the house's brain. <laughs> so this is where all of the Lutron and Control 4 lighting systems, heating, everything like that is controlled from and it's all wired up to do exactly what the, the clients wanted. Very, very neat, so it's gone yeah. overboard, really. <laughs> There's apparently over 40 kilometers worth of wires and stuff. 
picture that. <laughs> That's mental. Okay, now we've got another guest bedroom in here, the large guest bedroom with, again, the Venetian plaster. This one's kind of polished, a little bit darker. Looks really nice. Got the silent gliss blinds again in here. Porcelain tiles that go all the way throughout. And interesting thing about this bed, so heavy that they actually had to get a custom carpet fitted and cut all the way around because they couldn't lift the bed up. Now, you're wondering why it's heavy? Let me show you. How insane. <laughs> this house has got all of the gadgets. It's so, so cool. Let's just have a look at that from what it'd be like from the bed. Yeah, so you're chilling in your bed. You're sat watching, how cool. Yeah. How convenient. What movie would you watch on there, guys? Leave in the comments below. Yes, sure. Right, now, into the bathroom. Again with that sky frame window, frosted, sort of giving you some more privacy in the bathroom. Again with the black theme. Interesting thing about this bathroom, this, this is one whole tile. Yeah. From the ground all the way up there, one whole tile. Same as here. Jazz, if you sort of poke your head in, you can see in these niches here, there's no cuts. There's no, it's not half a tile. This is one, well, two tiles here. Lots of arm movements going on right <laughs> now. But yeah, insane. You couldn't have cut this on a bench. So they had to actually put it up and they'd cut it all in place along with the drawings just to make sure everything is millimeter perfect. The attention to detail, Whew, insane. Okay, now we've got another bedroom in here. So another great size bedroom. Now, this is really interesting in this bedroom here. You ha almost have this illusion of a double aspect window, but this side here, as you can probably see, is a mirror, <laughs> right? So how insane. But this Venetian plaster is actually carried on through the walls of the skylight, which is a really, really nice touch. TV embedded into the wall, sort of floating style bed here. Yeah, even the um, bedside tables are floating yeah. and the dresser in front of you. And the ambience you. around, giving it that glow, works perfectly with the plaster. At night time, all the shadows casted, amazing. Now we've got bathroom in here, similar style to the other ones with the sort of white marble theme in here. Yeah, massive amounts of tiling, sort of recessed ceiling, so the ambient lighting comes down. We've got those Igazini lights up above, keeping it nice and bright in here. We've also got these Jesse tap units and the push plates on the toilet. In here we've got like a brushed steel look. We've had some dark um, black looks and rose gold as well. So it's kind of like a similar material palette, different colors, very nice use of that. So let's head through and show you that last bedroom. Yeah, Jazz just went <laughs> like that. Yeah, this, this is crazy. It's pretty funky, isn't it? So many cool pieces throughout this property, but we're gonna keep on moving on and show you some of the rooms that we went past in the entrance hall. Okay, so first one being this guest bathroom. Again, with that dark sort of marble theme. This is such a moody room. This is the, uh, the rose gold sort of push plates and yeah, taps that I was talking about. We've also got this incredible, almost false, false ceiling above, which creates a great ambience. Yeah, looks incredible. Okay, next room. Across the hallway, we have a study. We're not gonna show you that, some personal bits in there, so. I'm gonna head straight through into the next bedroom. So, this is what I was mentioning before. It's essentially, it is a mirror of the room that we just showed you in there. And we have this mirror here as well, behind the blinds. Thank you very <laughs> much, Jazz. You're welcome. So, from outside the property, as you sort of walk past, it looks like you're peering in through to the other room through this window but it's actually just a reflection. So yeah. it's a really cool optical illusion. It's very clever. Yeah, and then we've got the same Venetian plaster again, and it's up in the skylight above. And yeah, we've got the sort of Lutron control panels so that you can turn all the lightings. That's what Jazz and myself have been pressing all the blinds with throughout yes. this property. It's really convenient. It means that you can access all the lights from one room or even in the house without having to sort of press every one of them, which is yeah. great. Similar sort of um, marble theme in here that we saw in the other bathroom with the niches cut as well. Super seamless, love how the grout lines really match up with the edge of this niche. So we've got one nice long cut rather than loads of little bits. It's yeah. just those little things that just, you know, show the difference between that premium price and the standard finish. But yeah, this place is far from standard. Now we're gonna go across the hallway and we're gonna check out this lounge space. Now, this is more of an informal lounge, I'd say. 
feels a lot more cozy in here than it did in the main open plan room. We've got these awesomely placed sofas right in front of that humongous TV and they even recline like so. This is definitely the room that you'd sort of sit and watch the game in, I think, get yeah. a bit of privacy. We've got little charging points in there as well. Yeah, inside the sofa, mental, right? Now, one of the coolest things about this room is what's behind this wall. Now, you can't see it, but we've actually got an insane amount of speakers behind here that just, the sound system is incredible. Yeah, really cool idea. We've also got this gas fire under here, super high tech, you know, with the Control 4 system, you can literally access all of these bits from wherever you are. You don't even need to be in the property. So you yeah. can turn on lights, heating, whatever, and not be at home, which is really, really convenient. We've got a great ambient lighting around the skirting in here as well with LEDs, aircon in here too, and an incredible view all the way down to the end of the pool. So you can sit in here watching TV and see all the way through there. At nighttime when it's all lit up, again, even better. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. So I think we should head back through into the garden and have a look at the back of the property one last time. Should we meet them there? Yeah. Let's do it. See you there, guys. We've let the sun go down a little bit so that you guys can see this property at its best. I think it truly comes to life at night with all of these lights on. Yeah, it just looks absolutely stunning. But that does wrap up the tour for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. The area is great too. We've got the beach super close to the property. Also restaurants, shops, and there's theatres as well, always showing great acts in the local area. But yeah, I think if I lived here, I'd spend all my time inside the property and I'd probably never leave. So I don't mm -hmm. know about you guys, but yeah, this is probably one of the favourite houses I've toured. Incredible. So make sure to hit up Ben's details in the description if you guys fancy getting a build like this for yourselves. Yeah, go check him out. Incredible work. But yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe and peace.